You are listening to the Boss Experience Podcast, a podcast with conversations about business growth, self-development, and maintaining a mindset to achieve business success. My name is Michelle Davis, and I am a business strategist and coach, and I am your host. Let's get started. Previously on The Boss Experience. Thank you for joining me for another episode of The Boss Experience. My name is Michelle Davis, and I'm your host. And in this episode, I'm sharing three questions every entrepreneur needs to ask themselves when starting an online business. Are you trying to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income? If so, tell me if this sounds familiar. You took a coaching certification class, but still don't know how to develop a coaching business or get clients. You bought a course only to never implement what you learned or worse, you still don't know where to start. Or maybe you're struggling to piece together a bunch of free information you find online, hoping and praying for results only to still be confused. The key to earning revenue in your online coaching business is having a process to get the right people contacting you about enrolling in your programs and services. You also need a coaching offer that gets results for your clients in addition to you being able to charge a premium price for your services. So if you need help putting these pieces together, my name is Michelle Davis and I am the host of the Boss Experience Podcast in addition to being a phenomenal business coach. And I created a free short video explaining where to begin when it comes to starting an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income, just go to CEO blueprintacademy.com to get instant access now. That's CEO blueprintacademy.com. Okay, back to the show. Essentially, you know, there's uh, two types of entrepreneurs. So you have the entrepreneur that kind of knows what they want to do. They just maybe haven't launched a business idea yet. And you know, maybe they've been doing it as a side hustle and they're just kind of figure out, you know, how do they get it launched? How do they scale it? And then there's the entrepreneur that that's kind of like an entrepreneurial spirit that has no idea what they want to do. You know, if you're at a point where you're starting your business, you have to know which entrepreneur are you. And if you are one that really doesn't know what you want to do, you have to tap into that first before you launch a business. And you have to know where do you want your business to go? What do you want your business to be at the end of the day? Is this something you want to do as a side hustle or is this something that you want to eventually turn into a scalable and sustainable business? And then the other thing you want to do is know what are you launching and are you launching the right products that can eventually turn into this scalable business if that's your goal? And if you are in that side hustle stage and you have this business that you actually, you absolutely love and you wish you could scale it, then you definitely want to start mapping out your plan for that to happen and kind of looking at your market and seeing how, you know, if the current way you're presenting your product is the best way and most profitable way. When I started my business, I had no idea what I wanted to do. No idea. The only thing I knew is I wanted extra income to sustain me and my daughter. That was all I wanted. That was my only qualifier in my mind at the time. And I thought, you know, I just wanted to do something that was going to make me money, right? So right away I had, you know, the wrong mindset because when you're launching or, you know, starting a business, you do want to start a business that's based on something that you can, if you want it to be sustainable anyway. You want it to be a business that you're passionate about, something that you're experienced in so that you can have that better connection with potential clients and customers. Because when you don't build a brand around a business and you're just out there for profit, it's going to be hard for you to kind of showcase maybe your transformation that you you got from using this strategy or this product. It's going to be hard for you to really connect with people that are already passionate about what you're selling, but they don't see that same passion in you. And, you know, part of no matter what kind of business you start is really showcasing who you are and showcasing your skills and your ability to solve someone else's problem. So 
when I started my business, I quickly gravitated to kind of the first opportunity that the people presented to me because I knew I wanted to start a business. I knew I needed money, you know, as a single parent to take care of my daughter. Anytime you mention you want to start a business, you'll have so many people presenting you with opportunities and opportunity to, opportunity that was presented to me with MLM. You know, first I want to say before I get into what I learned from that experience is I'm not knocking MLM. It's a great business model for the people that are able to do well in it. It just wasn't a business model for me. And with every experience that I had when I first launched my business, I, of course, real quickly realized that I needed to learn from my experience. And the thing that I learned from MLM was because, you know, after working months in it and really not making any money. And I didn't really see, I didn't see the potential in it for me as a long-term business model for me. And that was simply because, you know, starting out, I didn't know what I wanted. But, you know, once I got out there, I got to get a sense of what I didn't want. I wanted to be in control of what I sold and how I sold it. I wanted to be in control of how I, you know, I marketed my product. I didn't want to get permission for how to market my product. And I wanted something that was scalable. And I needed something that could be scalable, you know, essentially kind of right away. I didn't want to, I didn't have time or, you know, wait, waiting years for me to make a profit on whatever it is I was selling. I felt like that was the problem for me with MLM. You know, I was bought into the product, but I wasn't super passionate about what I was selling. It was a product that I used for many, many years. And that product, yes, it helped me. But at the price point I was selling it at, I didn't see myself making money from that product on a long-term basis without having some kind of massive team, which I didn't want to spend time building a team. I wanted to spend my time building a sustainable business. And it's just, it just wasn't the business model for me. You know, so I say that to say, you know, when you're launching a business, if you think back on everything that you, every challenge you've had, every thought you had, you have to learn from that experience. And, you know, you have to ask yourself these three things. What do you want? Where do you see yourself going with this business? And is this business scalable? You know, the business model, it wasn't something I was super passionate about or that I wanted to really build this, this brand around. And that's really the key, no matter what you're doing, is to be able to build a brand around it, to be able to showcase yourself, your expertise, your skills, so that potential clients and customers can see that you have the potential to solve their problem. Because after all, that is what people buy. They don't buy products or services, they buy the solution. So if you can effectively offer a solution to people, you know, through whatever business you launch, that, that is the key to everything. So with that being said, that concludes this episode. Thank you once again for tuning in. And I can't wait for you to tune in to another episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. Take care and be well. Thank you for tuning in to the Boss Experience Podcast. Don't forget to leave a review for this episode and tune in next time.